He's got a goo, Franksy. Now, before you all switch off, obviously, that was a joke. A couple of things to bear in mind before going into a lot of detail about today's result. Derby, of course, are one week away from the start of their season. We are two weeks away. So we're a little bit behind in terms of match readiness and competitive match readiness. So I'm not too concerned about the result at all. There are a few things, however, that I am a little bit concerned about, which I'll come to in a minute. I'm going to start off with talking about the positives, though. So to begin with, it was the first time that we saw Jean Moutinho in a wolf shirt. And he played the first half and he didn't really have an awful lot to do. He looks a little bit reserved as well, I think. Perhaps Neves as well seemed to be or looking to pass to him every single time that he got the ball. Uh, perhaps sort of like playing with his idol, I suppose, and trying to get the ball to Moutinho as often as he could. Maybe didn't get the best out of either of the players uh, today. But I think as they get used to playing with each other over the next two weeks before the season starts, I'm sure they'll find the right balance uh, there. The other real positive to come out of the game today as well, I think, was the, the back Four that started the game, so the back three and Patricio, I thought it looked very comfortable. I think there's been a few notes on Twitter about Patricio's uh, distribution today, which usually is a very, very strong point. He did make a couple of half-decent saves. It wasn't at fault for the goal that he conceded either. Uh, he made a good save in the build-up to it and then Wolves failed to clear. I have no doubt that Patricio will be starting in goal against Everton in two weeks' time. Um I think the team that started the game today as well will be as close to Nuno's first eleven as possible. The only thing that may change, I think, is Jimenez coming in for Bonantini. I think both times now I've seen uh, Jimenez this week, he's impressed me. He offers something a little bit different to Bonantini, although Bonantini hasn't been bad at all in the games that he's, when the minutes that he's played so far uh, <clears throat> this preseason. I just think that Jimenez offers something slightly different. But Morgan Gibbs-White, for me, looks like a player who should be in our first team this season. Uh, against Stoke and now against Derby today, he looks like a player who's got great vision, who's improved so much over the little spell over the summer and is ready to play a part in the Premier League. To think that he's only 18, I think it's incredible the amount of potential that he's got and how far he's going to go in the game. But with the calibre of players that we've brought in now, Will he be given that much of a chance next season? Let me know in the comments down below. Would you have you been impressed by him so far? Today obviously obviously it's disappointing to lose a game and lose any game, but there was there's a couple of things that I think need working on. Um the key thing for me is Johnny at left wing back. Now he's come in and we've got rid of Barry Douglas, that's official. He's gone to Leeds today, that's been announced. And personally I'm starting to doubt the decision. Now, earlier on in the transfer window, I was saying, well, Douglas could well leave. But I don't know about his replacement. Johnny, for me, isn't the right... Not that he played badly today. and He did have a couple of good moments where he beat his opposite number. and But he, he hasn't got a left foot at all. And for a left wing back, that's a pretty influential part of his game. There was a number of times where he was getting past the past the right back and in a position to put the ball in, but just not even cutting inside and using his right foot. He's trying to use his left foot, but he he can kick like I can kick with my, my left foot and I am hopeless. I use it for standing on and that's it. Uh, so that is something that's a real concern for me. Now, if we're going to sign somebody else, I would look at, and I think from what I understand, Johnny was a right wing back who's been turning to a left wing back this year, over the past year and has done very, very well in that position. But I didn't see a lot of positive signs from him today. I think he needs to work on his left foot delivery or he needs to be more consistent in cutting inside onto his right foot and, and making chances happen from that. He did link up a few uh, with Jota quite well on a few occasions, but he needs to be able to whip a ball into the box, I think, as well. And the other thing, the last point I'm going to make a negative point before trying to bring it back to some good points again um, is just the lack of creativity in the final third, particularly in the first half. The first half we looked defensively quite sound, despite going in at one nil down. We played, I think, quite well uh, defensive wise, and we controlled the game like we tend to do most times. But there was very, very little going forward. I know that Scott Carson made a wonder save from a corner, but from open play we didn't really create a lot. The goal for Wolves came from a long-range shot from Neves, which was uh, hit the 
bottom of the bar, I think, and then came back down to Jota, who, who slotted it home. Again, a bit of a, a well, not a fluke, but not a you know we play all this beautiful football, but we're not creating enough chances for me. Um, I appreciate that there's still a long way to go in pre-season. There's still two weeks. There's still a game to play against Villarreal next Saturday as well. But there are a lot of things that need ironing out and a lot of things that need putting right. If if we're going to make a real push at the top half of the Premier League, I think what today's done for me is sort of bring back into focus what the actual ambition for this season should be. And it should be to just stay in the Premier League and try and finish as high as we can and like 12th or 13th would be an incredible season and that would be our best season in 30, 40 years. So there's no shame in that at all. But there's people who are getting very, very carried away and very, very uh, overconfident because of the calibre of players that we've signed. And I appreciate that there's a couple of weeks as well for them to all gel together. And it could be that we surprise the league and we finish in the top eight or something. But I think realistically, we need to be focusing on staying in the Premier League and we need to focus on on doing as well as we can and picking up as many positive results as we can and maintaining our place in the league is the, is the key thing. I hope this wasn't too negative for you. I don't feel negative about this about the uh, the season ahead at all. I think that Nuno will have seen the same game as we did. I think he'd be disappointed in the lack of chances that we created in the first half. But there, again, lots of positives to take out of the game. Gibbs White, Costa, I thought is looking better and better every time I see him. Jota is looking good on the ball, just needs to add that clinical finishing, which I keep banging on about. Um, a couple of times he was breaking through, but just not quite not quite finishing it off. But yeah, let me know your thoughts of the game down below. Let me know your thoughts on the transfer window. I've just seen somebody commented on my uh, video from yesterday with an enormous long post, so I'll try and get back to that uh, now. But if you've got any messages, any, any comments to make, put it in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. In the build-up to the new season, let's, let's try and get to 3,000 subscribers on this channel before the season starts. It's another 130-odd. That'd be amazing. Uh, thank you. Bye-bye.